What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to export a video in Final Cut and a few things that you need to do to make sure that you keep the best quality once it's exported. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you're exporting using the optimized original media. So if we go up here to the view drop down menu and go to media playback, you want to make sure that optimized original media is selected. And this follows the guidelines on the Apple website, which says you need to have this tick in order for maximum quality to be achieved once it's exported. And then I'm also going to tick the quality, better quality. They don't mention this on the Apple website, but I just like to keep it ticked just to make sure. Okay, so the next step is to check your project resolution and your settings to make sure it matches with your video resolution. And you can do that by pressing Command J and that will bring up your project settings up here. If we just click the modify button, this will show your project settings and also let you change them. I'm not sure if you can do this on older versions of Final Cut Pro, but you can do that on the newer versions, which is super useful because I like to edit in 1080p because it's way faster, way less laggy than editing in 4K or more. The only thing you need to watch out for if you do this is adding like masks and effects in 1080p will change when you switch the settings to 4K. So that's something you need to watch out for if you are editing that way. So I need to change my project resolution to 4K to match my video footage because my video footage is in 4K. And if you wanna check your video footage resolution, then you just select one of the video clips, go up to the eye icon up here, and it will show your video resolution as well as the frame rate. So you just wanna match that with the project settings before you export. So now it's ready to export. What I'm going to do is select the area on the timeline that I want to export by going to the beginning, pressing I on the keyboard, and then going to the end and just pressing O. And then I'm gonna go up to this icon up here, which is the export icon. And you might not have these options here. So to create new options, I'm going to click add destination. So this is where you can create a custom destination and type of file to export. So I'm gonna add drag on export file to the destinations bar over here. And then I'm gonna rename this one YouTube. So now under the settings, under the format, I'm going to click video and audio under the mastering tab. And then the video codec, I'm just gonna leave same as source. We can change those settings afterwards. And on the action, I'm just going to save only because I don't, I don't want it to open up in, in QuickTime after I've saved it. So once that's done, I'm gonna close this. And then I'm gonna go back to the export button up here. And you should have the new export destination that you just added. So I'm gonna click that. And then we can go to the settings. Now I just need to choose the video codec. Once we select different video codecs, you can see it changes how big the file size is gonna be once it's exported. So if you're doing a lot of videos and you're worried about file space, then I recommend using H.264. This is going to reduce the file size, but also keep really good quality. It's good if you want to upload quickly to YouTube. If you're looking for maximum quality, then I recommend using Apple ProRes 422. And if you really want maximum quality, then you can use the uncompressed setting, but the file sizes are huge. So even for this really short edit, it's going to be three gigabytes for literally four video clips, which is pretty crazy. And if you're uploading to YouTube, then it's gonna take a really long time, but it still does work. I've tested it onto YouTube and uncompressed still uploads to YouTube and plays back with really good quality. I'm just going to use Apple ProRes 422. The file size isn't too bad. So now I'm gonna click next. And this is where you can choose where to save it on your computer. So I'll just save this to my desktop, type in the file name that you want to call the video, and then just click save. And then Final Cut will render that out and save the video clip where you just saved it on that final screen. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the exporting tips. Final Cut is always changing, so this will probably change in a few months time and the settings will change, but that's the settings that I'm using at the moment to get really nice quality. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're looking for any extra Final Cut Pro effects and transitions and color presets, then check out my website. The link is down in the description and I'll see you in the next video.